According to Alexander Maksichev, co-director of BrahMos Aerospace, the Indian Air Force's Su-30 MKI fighters would be rearmed with BrahMos A air-launched cruise missile in the next two or three years. In January 2018, the Indian Air Force signed a contract for the delivery of air-launched cruise missiles. And about 40 Su-30 MKI fighter jets will be equipped with this version of the BrahMos. New launcher for the missiles and support systems are installed on the jets, as per the schedule. The integration of the air-launched version was done indigenously by BrahMos Aerospace, HAL, and the IAF. A standard armor-piercing warhead, weighing up to 200 kilograms, can be carried by the ship and land-based missiles, while, a warhead weighing up to 300 kilograms can be carried by the aerial variant. Surface targets, as low as 10 meters in altitude, can be tracked. The missile has a range of up to 290 kilometers, and a top speed of Mach 3. The state-owned, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, which first produced Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fighter jets in India, has already developed a pair of Su-30 MKI fighter jets that were used for developmental trials. The missile and aircraft have now been cleared for operational use and the BrahMos A air-launched cruise missile will be enabled in more aircraft in the next two to three years. So each Su-30 MKI has been approved for BrahMos A to carry the massive 2.5-ton BrahMos missile, LCM has gone through the strengthening of its airframe, especially its underbelly weapons station. Each Su-30 MKI will be modified and certified at the Aircraft Upgrade R&D Center in Nashik before being handed over to the Indian Air Force. Amid the continuing border standoff with China, India's armed services have performed a series of successful BrahMos missile tests during the previous two to three years. On March 12, 2018, India successfully test-fired a 290-kilometer range submarine-launched version of the BrahMos missile in the Bay of Bengal, becoming the first country in the world to have this capability. Earlier in 2020, Su-30 MKI, equipped with BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles, were also inducted at the airbase at Tanjavur. According to experts, the Army, Navy, and Air Force conducting back-to-back -back tests was another example of tri-service integration in which land, air, and sea assets work together to demonstrate joint deterrence. BrahMos A will significantly enhance the Indian Air Force's strategic capacity to eliminate long-range targets in the Indian Ocean region. On the other hand, the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, a multi-role fighter is just amazing, jointly developed by Russia's Sukhoi Design Bureau and India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited in 1996. The presence of the Su-30 MKI is significant for the protection of the island territories and sea lines of communication in the Indian Ocean region.